Hello everyone, it's Small Farmer 6 m Welcome back to the channel. As you read by the thumbnail or the title, we are doing a review on the Farm Modeler magazine. Uh, yeah, so the Farm Modeler magazine, uh, it's this magazine right here. And James Martin, the uh, the writer of the magazine, the owner of it, uh, has kindly sent us it out and we're going to do a review on it. Um, so, we're yeah, we're going to go through the magazine and stuff, yeah. It's issue number five and hopefully you will enjoy this review and we're looking forward to uh, showing you. And uh, we it's uh, published at uh, £4.95 or uh, €7. Euro, so. Right guys, so this is uh, Fire Mother magazine as you see by the cover of it. Farm modeler, farm modeler, it's about modeler farming and general um, things like that. So this is issue number five. And uh, it includes a good few things in the in this magazine, like like reviews, a uh, few model shops in it. Also um, model shows, model farm dioramas, model collectors as well. And um, lots of model reviews. So in this art, in this... Um, article and on the front cover here we have Britons and they're celebrating 100 years which is nice to see as uh, me and Daniel we collect a good few Britons models which and we're uh, delighted to see see it so there's a good bit of Britons history in this so um it's a front cover is quite nice and has the Britons Fords and um Fords and E27N which is one of the first models so um Flicking it over and um has the contents and then this is the Britain's hundred years shows a good bit of history about them and who started it all off and everything which is quite nice to see. Um a good bit of a timeline there and uh, you can read through that. I also have the new models coming out for Britain's which is quite nice to see the there's going to be a hundred of these gold E27Ns and a 46600 and a John Deere as well. So nice to see some old models come back in through from Britain's. And uh, also some more pictures of Britain's as well. Right guys, uh, flicking over um, to the next page. Uh, here we have the John Deere forage harvester. We have a little article on it here. And... Uh, it's actually a bit of information in uh, the background of uh, how the silage harvester got into production with Britons and stuff. And it's actually a, a very good article. And, uh, if you were to get it, it, I'd highly recommend reading it. And then onto the reviews, guys. Um, these are Steptoes reviews, and they're very honest reviews. Uh, and yeah, it's just if you're looking, if you're not sure whether to buy a model or not, um, here you are. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of these and whatever whatever new models are there, uh, there's reviews on them. And I find them very good. Myself and Stephen have both read the magazine before we film this. And th these reviews are, are they're actually very good. So as you can see, there's uh, the new uh, David Brown that they're bringing out by Britain's and that John Deere, Jewel Wheels. Um, but yeah, there, there's plenty more reviews uh, and that big animal, animal of the oak. But uh, yeah, there's plenty more reviews uh, if you keep flicking, um, but yeah, uh, we'll move on. As you can see there, actually, there's um, a collector uh, called Dan, and he collects a couple of models, as you can see, and uh, there's just a couple of pictures of his diorama, which is on, uh, which, you know, you can just um, see, sorry about that glare now, but uh, yeah, you can just see a couple of the pictures of the collectors. Just flicking on here, guys. There's also another uh, model collector here. Um, but yeah, um, you can look at it for yourselves and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's very good. And it's amazing the amount of detail uh, things look when you look at them on the magazines. So, guys, moving on a couple of pages. We have this section of the magazine. It's a scratch build section by Build with Barry Burroughs. So, we'd have part four on issue number five at the moment and I suppose they want to have part one, two and three in the last couple of issues of this magazine. So in this little series they have going on they're building um a P Viner out of plastic struct box section and uh, it seems a quite a popular um product to use for scratch building. As as you see here, 
they um has the finished the finished P viner looks really really good I must say and you don't haven't seen a, a trailed P viner yet and um and uh, yeah have a few things here so also he also um you built a few things like um a cutter and a potato house a grimy potato house are quite cool you even have the little uh, tent and the little um trailer for the peas as well which is quite cool and also have a few model shops so that's quite cool I really like that part there of the scratch building part you get a few ideas with the plaster struck and what you can do with it really so it's really quite impressive and also here the diorama in the box section um section as you know i done um the tv the the tv in a diorama diorama in a television so this is kind of where the idea kind of generated from and uh, this is by James Tepper here. As you see, there was quite a few. It was a challenge I went on a couple of months ago, and as you see, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of prizes that were won. So I first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place. And there's a couple of photos here with like the sheep going in, and you know what 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 other things were in the creativity that went into this. So that's quite interesting there and you can get a good few ideas from this as you've seen just one of them there the shows the shed cut off of the shed you can actually see into it that's quite cool and i actually got first place so that's quite good for creativity so yeah that's quite good and also there's an article there of how it all started as it says there and this article here me and daniel are really really uh, mind blown by and it's this guy from italy um Claudio was that a ziller? Hopefully I didn't butcher the name. And he actually three then three D prints all of all of his models. So this this crane and forestry grab is all three D printed, and very very skillful. And uh, as you see, there's mulchers, a plow, all these things here, all three D printed. Even a low loader, really really impressive. So it is. And as you can see, there's a a little small article. So it's really impressive, and it's um. Nice to see uh, people be able to share your own creations on this. So it's really nice to see. Right guys, so um, over here on the right hand page, uh, we've already covered the left hand page, but over on the right hand page we have some uh, lovely uh, diorama pictures from shows. And uh, this is lovely in the magazine also because, you know, you're able to look, get ideas and... So it's always nice looking at other people's dioramas, so I'll give you a moment to look at all them photos there. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it, but then we have some more ones over here on the left hand side here. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's one of these model shows and they're, uh, a lot of them are popular, but um, yeah, it's uh, you get a lot of ideas and... That's uh, one of the reasons why I'd recommend the magazine. And then moving on, we just have a little uh, uh, website there. Um, <clears throat> a couple of reviews and everything kind of mixed in, guys. And then we have uh, these 124 scale Master Ferguson's T20 tractor kits. Um, so uh, as you can see, it's kind of just a weathering kit, kind of like... Um, the tractor's falling apart and it, it, it looks kind of good if you ever go into a um, a farmer's workshop you might see a, a project they started and never got finished and it's it's lovely just to just to replicate that and uh, it, it's 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 nice in all different kind of ways so there's a good article on that um, if you just wanted to look at it and then uh, <clears throat> uh, over here on this page um, we have uh, model releases available in 2021 and um, we have uh, what is um, a 1255 uh, XL and that's been brought out and we also have a Fend 818 uh, and we've two of them actually and they're with wider tires and stuff and um, a new Holland T7 uh, no farmers no no food and um, 
that's one that Universal Hobbies are bringing out uh, over here, um, which is their supporting uh, as well. So yeah, there's uh, also you can see all the other ones that are there um, that are will be coming out, and that's very good as well in the magazine. I I always see that a lot of modern releases, uh, and it's always being updated each each is issue. Then we have uh, Brown's models over here, and it just uh, just shows uh, some of their work. But yeah, guys, that's um, we just showed uh, bits and uh, bobs in a magazine there. Uh, there's another review there. But uh, yeah, we just showed bits and bobs to the um, magazine. We didn't show everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend if you want to see more on it. Uh, I'd highly recommend check it out. Um, and yeah, it's it, it, we we covered a lot of the pages, but um, there is many many more that are very interesting and just stir. Uh, it's it's a it's a magazine to have if you if you collect models it it um uh, my, myself and Stephen when we got the first issue uh we got we we are very uh satisfied with it and everything so highly recommend checking it out farm modeler um if you look it up on Google it should come up and yeah and they deliver to most parts of the world um including like Northern Ireland and England and Ireland and all of Europe so. Do do you deliver to all of the world, so don't worry about that and um yeah, hopefully you enjoy this review. So hope you enjoyed today's video of this of this review and we'd like to thank James Martin for sending out the magazine. It's been a pleasure doing a video on it and um we really enjoy the magazine and hopefully you do as well. Yeah guys, thanks very much uh for watching and the magazine was it was it was wonderful now. Uh, it has lots of great things in it like uh, pictures and uh, you can get so much ideas from it and there's so much to read and if you're a model collector highly recommend go check it out but uh yeah if you want to support the channel uh, there's a link in the description that'll bring you to the website uh, and uh, if you want to buy a magazine it'll help out the channel as well uh, if you uh, buy it through our link so thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye for now bye for now